Acharya Sri, what are the karmic effects of playing computer and video games? Playing video games in the computer, the karmic effects is very bad because uh, their intention is not pure. Even they are just uh, characters, cartoons, but killing is still involved. And where there is killing involved is a violence and violence is the worst thing in the world to get the to collect the bad karma because everything depends on our intention our intention to kill the character it is not that it is just uh, we see it is all the, are the children or the kids see that it is just a picture no they they think it is uh, something we can defeat it and they become so hyper, they become so excited, and they want to kill it. It is saying in Indian mythological books, it is called Purana, that Bhavana Bhavanashini. Bhavana means your intention. If your intention is pure, you can cross the uh, ocean of the suffering. But if your intention is impure, you can collect a lot of bad karma. Let me give an, an example. In Mahavira's time, like more than 2600 years ago, there was one butcher called Kal Kosher Kasai. He used to kill almost 500 buffaloes a day. He was a very big businessman and uh, he used to kill at least 500 a day. So he asked question, this king, um, that can I achieve moksha? Can I be liberated one day? Mahavira said, very easy. If you can stop this Kal Kosharik Kasai, just killing the 500 buffaloes. He said, oh, it is very easy. He went there and he ordered that you cannot kill the 500 buffaloes. He stopped. But then, he had nothing else to do. He draw the pictures and he start killing it. But killing went on. Then he said, just hang him upside down in the well so he cannot do it. So what he did when they hang him up, hang him down to the well, so he was making the buffalo picture with his finger and he was cutting it because they, his intention was to kill. And where there is intention to kill, they collect a lot of bad karma and they can go lower in a life. Like um, if they are human, they can be animal in the next life or they can be lower than animal in the next life. They might come uh, the life of the tree or they come the life of the bacteria. It is a one example in the, uh, I always tell people what intention can do for the people and if it is very, very bad intention, where it can take you. In the ocean, there is a biggest uh, fish, it's like a dolphin. There is a, on his head, on the, that big fish's head is like uh, one lice, it is called tandul matsya. It is the, that uh, lice body is smaller than a rice size, small rice. But it grows in that uh, uh, fish's head. And But it has a mind, it has five senses. Even the body is very tiny, but has five senses. And when this big fish wants to eat small fish, thousands of fish comes in the ocean and this big fish open his mouth. And maybe by the time it closes, maybe 100 fish comes into his mouth, all the other crosses. This small little teeny tiny tandul fish 
which is very tiny. It has mind, it has five senses, and it sees it everything. That how ignorant this big fish is. If I have this big body, I will not let it go, even in one single fish. I will eat all of them. He doesn't have a long life, this little fish. But in even counted days life, he collected that many bad karma that it is written that he goes to hell. Hell means where there is always suffering, continuously suffering. There is no happiness there. There is no any peace there. It's always suffering, suffering, pain, painful. So that's what people can collect. collect. Even though this little fish, tandul fish, cannot kill anybody, cannot eat any fish, but it's intention. Intention is that I will not let it go even one. In counted days, it collects that many heavy karmas. So heavy karma take people downward. And our life, if we are human, and our intention is not pure, our intention is not so good, we are going to lose this opportunity as a human being. So I will suggest all of parents that don't let your children play those kind of games. Because the games, their intention is very bad because they want to kill the characters. And where there is killing involved, even it is mental, it brings a lot of bad karma. And a person can be suffering even in this life. You never know because the karmic effect can happen in this life. It is not that the, that person has to wait for the next life to get the bad result. So I suggest that those kind of games which is uh, teach children, which teach children a lot of violence, it is not for good for, for the family, good for the society, good for the nation. We need to put ban on them, those kind of characters, those kind of games, and they are not our good future at all. It is not the good future for the nation at all. So, and the children will go violent, and they will create trouble in the society when they grow up, because they get habit to kill. And uh, they will not even in the play, if they were playing when they are grown up, they might kill each other. So, um, teach your children not that kind of games. Teach something, mathematical games, where their brain gets sharp. Or historical games, where there is knowledge involved, where there is maybe philosophy involved, where there is psychology involved, where there is brain can uh, sharper again more and they become more intelligent, they become more peaceful, they become more calm and they will not disturb the family, they will not disturb the society, they will not disturb the nation. That is in our hand. I suggest our government needs to take the step towards this. Because these games, they are making our society very violent. And it is just time to stop those companies who are making that kind of games. We are all responsible, that, uh, responsible for that violence because we are not protesting. We need to protest and we need to force the government put ban on those companies make good games where they can learn how to respect how to respect their parents how to respect uh, brothers and sisters how to respect animals how to respect everything and when we teach those kind of teachings to the kids they will be very peaceful and calm and very useful for the society and they will collect always good karma